there's a really interesting kind of practice going around the personal development law of attraction sphere. And it's this idea of the two cup method for manifesting. So I want to show you it quickly from another person's channel. And then I'm going to jump in and kind of give my two cents on what I think it is. Like, is it real? Is it BS? And some other little thoughts there. The two cup method is a manifesting method in which you decide on one thing in your life you would like to change. You take two cups and label one with your current situation and the other with your desired situation. You fill the cup with your current situation up with water and then pour it into your desired situation cup. All right, so that's the gist of what the method is and how it's supposed to work. Let's jump into a breakdown of what I think is valuable and maybe not valuable with this. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. By the way, did you see the new sexy cover? I'm gonna keep saying that until you buy it and tag me on Instagram aggressively. Now, two cup method, on the other hand, it's a very gentle form of manifesting, but I'll tell you what, I do think there's some merit to it and here's what I think. All right, so basically the gist of the method is as you saw, you take the old reality you're, you're frustrated with, it could be money, weight, financial, dating, whatever it is, right? You pour the water into the cup and then you pour it into the new one that's labeled with the new thing you want. Now, I think it can work, of course. Do I think it has some magical power? No, but here's where I think the magic is. The big thing is that it's all about just attention, intention and attention. So I think, for example, one thing I say to my clients is no one ever loses weight without the intention of losing weight. So people don't just naturally lose 100 pounds unless they're like, wow, something has gone seriously wrong in my life. I need to change. No one doubles their income accidentally. Like it just rarely, rarely happens. No one becomes super successful by accident. It truly is very calculated in most cases. I think the same thing is true of manifesting or goal setting, whatever you want to call it. When you think, I used to date crappy women or crappy men. Now I want to date great men or great women. When you do that, you're formally telling your consciousness, I want to do something different. And you've put that message in there. It's just like, I am sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. I want to change. You've activated an emotion. And if you know anything about Think and Grow Rich and all of these manifestation type processes, the key thing is not the visualization. The key thing is emotionally charging the words or emotionally charging it. And again, this is not magic. What it is is, I want to lose weight versus I am so sick and tired of my mom making fun of me, commenting on my weight, the doctor always saying I'm fat and I need to lose weight for my health, the fact that every man has broken up with me because I gained weight, like I'm sick and tired. That's a woman who's ready to change because you could feel the emotional charge. And that is, to me, is what the essence of any goal setting or manifesting, visualizing, all is the same thing. There has to be that emotional, emotionalized words because then things will actually change for you, even if it's just your own habits. Now, the other thing is, I think people get caught up in all these words, quantum jumping, parallel realities, all this like all this stuff out there that's hard to, like in the moment, conceptualize as something that's real, right? And my philosophy is, does it matter? Does it really matter? Do you need to know if alternate realities are real or quantum, jump quantum jumping is a real thing? I don't know. I'm not a physicist. I got a D in physics. I don't know what the hell quantum jumping means. I don't know if parallel realities are real. All I know is if I'm broke, I needed to earn more money. I was not the fitness level I wanted and with not the health I wanted. So I changed the things about my life through first through intention and then through habits and they changed. All I knew is that I never dated the girl I wanted before 25. So I had to change things about myself to be able to attract the kind of woman I wanted. So I wouldn't get caught up in whether it's spiritual or it's psychological, or if it's real or not. Just try it. And I think that the very act of changing the internal story, the narrative, just half of my book, Master of the Day, the narrative is changing your intention and your focus. It's asking, okay, well, what if? I failed before my whole life with losing weight, with dating great people, with having enough money. Well, what if I could have double the money I need? What might I do to make that a reality? Well, what if I wanted to lose 30 pounds and then feel amazing about myself now and after? What could I possibly do to make that happen? What if I wanted an amazing relationship no matter the fact that all my other ones have sucked or failed? 
Well, what might I have to do to make that a reality, both internally and externally with my habits? I think don't get caught up with whether it's spiritual mumbo jumbo with wearing the tinfoil hat or if it's just a psychological practice of focusing your attention, which is on if you focus it on growth, you're going to grow and you're going to improve. So I think, yeah, there's a lot to this two cup method. I think on one level, it's just a gimmick for focusing your attention, but absolutely, I think it can help. So whatever method you find works for you in terms of changing your intention and your attention, and then also results in changing your habits, it's probably going to help you and it's probably going to work. So I hope that video helps. That is my two cents. Now, before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. For you, if you've had experience with like manifesting, whatever you want to call it, or you've watched my video on my manifesting experiment, comment below and let me know what method seems to work best for you for reaching your goals. And of course, the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And you can also watch my last two videos that came out here and actually that manifesting experiment I did right here and the results it provided.